Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. As you could tell by the title, today is like one of those I apologize videos, life update type of videos. I feel like I owe y'all an explanation of what's been going on with me. So if you care to hear about the story, then just keep watching. And before you go any further, I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell down below. It is free to you guys to subscribe to me. I would really hope that you guys do. So this video here is like not scheduled, not planned, not a part of what I was doing today. I have a couple of videos that I'm doing today because I feel like that it is time for me to get back on camera, get back to the old me. But I had to tell you guys what stopped me. I was doing really, really, really good with uploading three days a week for the last two years, three years maybe, like straight, not missing anything. You would see that I was really, really, really consistent at all times and I wasn't missing a beat, but it all kind of stopped. Uh, really what it seemed like the day my grandmother passed that threw me off like it really threw me off really bad and then I had me and my siblings had to help plan my grandmother's funeral a few months after that I tried to kick it back up I was doing pretty good but not consistent as I was prior to so I was you know trying to find my way back and all that stuff but once I did get the motivation to actually kick it off, you guys, so much stuff with this YouTube has really kind of like hit me in the face really hard because the whole, what, six years that I've been on YouTube, I never understood like the target audience. I never understood what you guys would like. I never understood why my videos weren't getting viewed and all that stuff i've done so many things to upgrade my channel and you know like give you guys give you guys more of a professional look and all that stuff and it seems like nothing i was doing was working it kind of discouraged me in a way but i i don't want this video to be a pity party like not at all i just wanted to tell you guys like exactly what's been going on with your girl so it was like i it's a whole bunch of behind the scenes of youtube that i don't understand and as much as i study research and try it just wasn't working it it seems like it wasn't working at all well i'm not gonna say it seems like i know it's like not working at all so for the longest i've been wanting to quit my job, do YouTube full time and all that stuff. And I was like, how can I actually do that when YouTube is not paying me? YouTube is not giving, I'm not getting many views on YouTube or anything like that. So I was just like, keep dreaming, basically. What I was actually praying for actually happened, but then again happened in the worst time because I actually lost my job. <laughs> um, I actually lost my job due to And I was like, who wait, okay, God. I know you always say, be careful what you pray for, but um, this is a sign. At first I was trying to get accustomed and adjusted to the whole life. I don't even know how to explain it. Then like, I'm not gonna say, well, I'm gonna say interest got sparked. I have a little bit of an anger problem and I start seeing other people doing things that I felt like I should have been doing. So with all the anxiety and all the back and forth, getting mad at myself and all that, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start my business, finally. I'm gonna start my cosmetic 
business. I'm gonna start off with lashes and lip gloss. I spoke about this in one of my entrepreneur videos. I have yet to upload. You guys probably will see it, but probably won't. I rushed my business. Thought it was gonna be something amazing. Thought it was gonna be something that everybody would love. And I kind of stopped doing actual YouTube because I was so focused on doing this for the brand, this for the brand, this for the brand. And I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning of my launch and stuff, I was getting orders, you know, left and right. Not thousands of orders or nothing like that, but I was getting orders here and there. And I felt the need that, okay, since I'm getting orders, you know what, I need a PR team, I need this, I need that, and woo woo woo. And even though I do have a PR team and I have the few people I do have on my PR team are absolutely amazing and I love them and they have been showing me love. They have been posting my stuff. They have been doing really good. But on top of me rushing to get a PR team, I didn't put any blood, sweat or tears behind my actual PR team. I should have been giving them so much more. I should have made packaging so much better. I should have I should have put that blood, sweat, and tears into my whole PR team. Here we are current today, and I'm realizing all of the mistakes I made since June 1st. June 1st all the way up to August 31st. I think we're August 31st. Everything that had been going on with the business, I spent a lot of money. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I spent a lot of money buying this, buying that, you know, jumping the gun and all that. I can't lie about it. I jumped the gun with so much stuff. I was enjoying it and I had that adrenaline rush. I had that high that I needed. I was just... Once again, I apologize. <laughs> Felt like I was making tens and thousands of dollars. That's how my mind was working when I really wasn't making anything. Now, I can say in my first month, I crossed the $1,000 threshold, which was like, I didn't even set a number to it. I wanted to make A. Marie Beauty bigger than A. Marie Beauty. A. M. B. Lavish is A. Marie Beauty lavish style. Like, that's all I wanted. And I, that was the reason why I wanted to play off of my name because I'm an influencer first and then I wanted to make a brand that takes me further. August hit and I had, y'all, I had maybe, maybe five orders this whole month. And that's me, that's me not exaggerating. Like I may have had more than five, but from what I could think off my mind, I had five orders. My goal was to have at least one order a day. I learned a lot from Buy Red Beauty. I think you guys have heard me speak about her before. I learned a lot from Shelly's daughter. I think y'all heard me speak about her more. And it's been a lot of small entrepreneurs that I've been watching and paying attention to, taking notes. But Buy Red Beauty has been the number one person when it comes down to this business. August came and it was like, completely flatlined and when I say completely flatlined like completely flatlined to the point I was on life support when it came to this business now we're rolling over into the fourth month and I honestly don't know what is is to come of the fourth month but I'm gonna still try I launched at a bad time. I keep wanting to say that, but I'm not for sure if that's really the problem. But I think I launched at the wrong time due to and all that. But at the same time, I'm glad that I just finally did it. You guys know I done tried so many different things on my channel. And it's not hitting the same for you guys. Every time I feel like it's going to hit different, it doesn't hit different. So I... I just don't know which way to go. I kind of want to like start completely over when it comes to my YouTube. And when I say start completely over, I don't want to 
call you guys my D4L gang or D4 DG4L squad. I don't want to call you guys nothing. I want you guys to learn me all over again the same way if I was a new channel. I would love for you guys to interact with me more. I would love for you guys to let me know what you guys would like to be called. I don't want to call y'all subscribers, but DG4L just not it's not hitting for me no more. I want to know what my subscribers would like for me to address y'all as, basically. I would like for you guys to actually tell me what y'all would like to see. What can I do better? I know for a fact that I'm going to work harder when it comes to my YouTube, Instagram. I almost feel dumb on some levels when it comes to this YouTube. I've always said my target audience, y'all, this net is driving me crazy. I always said my target audience is everybody, but I learned that you can't have everybody as a target audience. But I looked at it like I want to be that MILF, but at the same time, I want to be that cool auntie that y'all come see. But at the same time, I want to be that creator that you learn something from, whether it's makeup tips, cooking tips, entrepreneur life. I want to be somebody that you guys could learn from. And I thought all these years that I was doing that. But as I look back through my whole channel, I don't know if y'all y'all are seeing it that way, the same way I see it. Give me feedback and actually break it down. Even if you don't want to put it down in the comments, my email address is there. Can't lie to you guys. I've been in a very, I don't want to say dark place, but a very awkward place with life in general i've been in a weird spot like i i don't i can't call it or anything like that because i honestly don't know what feels like at time should have been where i was pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing out videos left and right but i honestly didn't know what to push i honestly didn't know where to go i didn't know which way to turn sometimes the bad outweighs the good and the bad has outweighed the good when it came down to my youtube i have thought about like just be done with it be done with youtube what would i do if i don't have youtube would you guys like if i start uploading every single day when i say uploading every single day it's going to be a mixture of vlogs reviews makeup tutorials entrepreneur um <clears throat> mom life all that but i even considered that and i don't think i would have a problem with it i feel like i'm back and i'm back 100 percent but i needed to come back out and give you guys an apology a let's start over a explanation i had i felt like i had to monday wednesday fridays is all a marie beauty now if you guys want a monday through friday on um, a marie beauty let me know if i should post more if i should post less you guys tell me if my videos should be longer if they should be shorter you tell me i would say i would love to have a manager but girl who's gonna pay for the manager at this point i'm not getting paid I'm not getting sponsored or anything for none of my videos or nothing like that. So, but that's really what's been going on. Like, that's what's been going on in these last months. If you guys are here to see this look, this look will be up on my channel after this video. Um, but this is all Watch Me Sparkle. You guys should have seen the Watch Me Sparkle unboxing. I've been throwing videos in here and there, but... I want to get back to being hard down consistent. That's what's been going on since, what, March? And hopefully you guys see the growth. Hopefully you guys start learning something. Hopefully you guys start tuning in more. Let me know your suggestions. Like I said, let me know if you guys would like to see a video every day, whether it's a vlog or what. If y'all would like to see an upload every day for at least, you know, like maybe three months four months however whatever i have a whole bunch of videos planned um i still have like four different clothing hauls to give you guys that i ordered months ago i have some makeup tutorials or reviews to give you guys 
from things that y'all already seen me unbox on my channel and tell you guys I'm sorry. I want to start over, so here we are starting over. Hey, you guys, I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. That will never change. I will always be your favorite girl. Nice to meet you. And you are? Comment down below. Let me know who you are. Subscribe or name. I love you all. But until next time, I will see y'all later. There's another video coming very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Deuces.